Good morning, Tigers. Welcome to TNN. My name is Jackson. And my name is Judah. Please rise, show respect, and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's pause for a moment of silent reflection. Now let's recite the Tucker Middle School's mission statement. The mission of Tucker Middle School is to develop independent thinkers who are conscientious, compassionate, and embrace the diversity of the world around them. The challenging and rigorous educational program compels students to read with comprehension, write with clarity, and use information to solve problems. Here at Tucker, we are a PBIS school. We have pause, pride, attitude, wisdom, and success. Teachers, don't forget to reward daily pause bucks to deserving students. Remember, the goal is eight bucks per day total. Once again, I'm Jackson. And I'm Judah. Today is Wednesday, May 11th, and day one for Connections. Be sure to tune in each morning at 8.30 for news and announcements that matter to you. Happy 178th day of school. Only seven more days to go, TMS. Here are your morning announcements. In international news, Republicans have averted a crisis in Nebraska. Former Representative Jeff Fortenberry resigned after being convicted of lying to the FBI, but his name remained on the ballot for the first Congressional District's GOP primary on Tuesday setting up a potentially messy general election situation for the party. No matter, though, Fortenberry's zombie campaign was swept aside by State Senator Mike Flood, CNN's projected winner and the choice of the state's Republican establishment with endorsement from both current Governor Pete Ricketts and former Governor Dave Heineman. In local news, Atlanta rapper Young Thug's father says his son is getting blamed for something he didn't do. Young Thug was arrested Monday in a sweeping gang indictment that names 28 people. The rapper whose real name is Jeffrey Williams Jr., was arrested at a Buckhead home on an 88-page indictment that includes murder, robbery, and assault charges. The Fulton County District Attorney's Office said it worked for more than a year in collaboration with other agencies to put the indictment together. Prosecutors say Young Thug is a leader of the Young Slime Life Gang, which formed in Atlanta in, two, in tw 2012. And now the fact of the day. A bumblebee will perform warm-up exercises in the winter before taking flight. Weather. Today will be mostly sunny. We'll have a high of 81 and a low of 58. Announcements. Students, remember that all library books were due last Friday. If you still have overdue books, please turn them in as soon as possible. Shout out and congratulations to Miss Clinton for designing and building an incredible yearbook. There are only 19 yearbooks left. Get them all you can. $35 cash to Miss Clinton in the STEM lab, room B222. Congratulations to Miss Monger's 8th grade homeroom for making it to zero with all library books turned in and accounts cleared. If you have, if you have lost library books, see Miss Bell as soon as possible. All of us here at TNN wish you a wonderful school. Well, this concludes our morning broadcast. Thanks for watching, listening, and following TNN. Your, Your student, student voice at Tucker Middle School. Have, have a great day and succeed. succeed.